Puerto Rico Gov will not seek re-election, leaves his party. San Juan, Puerto Rico APU Puerto Rico Government Ricardo Rossell's protesters said they were not satisfied by Rossell's concessions, and pledged to continue demonstrations that have filled the streets of Old San Juan for more than a week. Ease. In a brief video posted on Facebook, Russell also said he looked forward to defending himself against the process of impeachment, whose initial stages are being explored by Puerto Rico's legislature. In The 889 pages of chat on the encrypted app Telegram between the governor and 11 close allies and members of his administration, all men, showed the governor and his close advisors insulting women and mocking constituents, including the victims of Hurricane Maria. Since the chat leaked July 13, hundreds of thousands of outraged Puerto Ricans have marched to Rosal's official residence in the largest protest movement on the island since Puerto Ricans successfully demonstrated to demand an end to U.S. Navy military training on the island of Vieques more than 15 years ago. Puerto Rico's Justice Secretary, Wanda Vizes, would assume the governor's role under the territorial constitution's line of succession if Rosal should quit. The upheaval comes as the U.S. territory is struggling to recover from Hurricane Maria and trying to restructure part of $70 billion in debt amid a 13-year recession in this territory more than 3 million American citizens who do not have full representation in Congress or a vote for president. Today On Monday morning, tens of thousands of Puerto Ricans were expected to take over one of the island's main highways to demand Rosal's resignation as legislators considered whether to take the first steps of the impeachment process. Pressure on Rosal to step down has grown throughout the week as the chorus calling for his resignation grew to include Puerto Rico music superstars Ricky Martin, Bad Bunny, and Residente and a string of U.S. politicians including Congress members from both parties several Democratic presidential candidates and Puerto Rico's non-voting representative in Congress. Russell was elected governor in November 2016 with nearly 50% of the vote, and he had already announced his intention to seek a second term. A graduate of MIT, the governor belongs to the new Progressive Party, which seeks statehood for the island, and he is also a Democrat. Most of his time, the upheaval against Russell prompted at least four cruise ships to cancel visits to Puerto Rico, and many officials worry about the impact a resignation would have on the already fragile economy as the island rebuilds from Maria, a Category 4 storm that cost more than an estimated $100 billion in damage. Another concern is the recent string of arrests involving federal corruption charges targeting Puerto Rico officials, among them two former agency heads including former Education Secretary Julia Kelleher. Associated Press writer Michael Weisenstein in Havana contributed to this report. Search for location slash city.